okay now we will start with the next type of force okay so we will talk now what force first of all we are talking what we are talking non contact forces isn't it so in non contact force we will be talking about the next force so let me write the heading electro static force ok. So, what is the meaning of electrostatic force how does it develops ok. See uh, first of all I will give you certain examples so that you can understand that what actually the electrostatic force is because you know uh, you are aware of magnetic force you are aware of gravity you are aware of muscular force friction also you are aware of, but I think so electrostatic force uh, I do not think so that everybody knows about the electrostatic force in uh, se till 7 thick ok. So, I think so I am not very sure if someone of you even know it is good ok. So, you know uh, I will just quote certain examples in electrostatic force say for example, uh, you might have observed that if you take a scale ok and if you rubbed uh, or uh, you rub a scale on your hair which is dry ok you do not have to put oil that day when you have to do this experiment and you keep little pieces of bits of paper ok. So, you have kept bits of paper and you took one scale you rubbed on your head and you take that scale very close to the bits of paper. So, what will happen children you will find you will see that that those papers the, those smaller bits of papers will get attracted towards the scale is not it have you all done this any one of you have done this uh, like uh, please do it ok. So, we will understand. So, what is there children the force is developed which kind of force is developed this force which is ok which is you know which will be existing or which get developed only in very few particular pairs ok. If you uh, try to develop this electrostatic force between say duster and your hand or between you know uh, the blackboard and the chalk it will not it will not be created. So, electrostatic force is a force which is created between a very specific pairs ok. It cannot be created every uh, between any two substance randomly ok. So, first example I am quoting about what if you take a uh, scale rub in your dry hair and bring it very close to the beads of paper what you will find you will find that the beads of paper get attracted towards the scale is not it ok. Now, we will talk about second example in second example if you take uh, you know uh, if you uh, bring uh, this one the balloons ok you take balloon and then you try to put it on the wall it would not get stuck ok it will fall down. So, if you wrap this balloon on your dry head again ok or even on your clothes ok if you wrap a balloon on your dry hair or on the clothes like this. So, what will happen children and then if you put it on the wall then you will find that the balloon gets stuck to the wall. Again which kind of force is developed again electrostatic force is developed ok. Ok uh, if a person with a long hair ok if a person with a long hair if uh, wears cardigan ok cardigan means what sweater and tries to pull the hair like this you know if tries to pull the hair ahead bring the hair ahead. So, what will happen you know the hair will get stuck to cardigan the hair will get stuck to cardigan and you will not be easily you know uh, it will not be easily easy for you people to bring the hair here why because the hair is getting stuck to the wear to the sweater because again this electrostatic force is developed ok. Now, talk about more examples if you and you know actually this force get developed you know again this force also get developed uh, due to the repulsion of the same charges and attraction of the different charges. So, I will just write the definition first ok children. So, what shall I write here the force
which results into by I should not write into into which results I will just write this the force which results I should write rather due to what into is not it due to this is not working repulsion ok due to repulsion of the same charges ok due to repulsion of the same charges and attraction of the opposite charges. Okay. See, I am talking about which force now? Electrostatic force. Okay, I am talking about electrostatic force. So, the force which results due to repulsion of the same charges. Okay, that means when the same charge will come together. Okay, when negative and negative will come or when positive and positive will come. What will happen children? It will be repelling each other it will be what repulsion is not it it will be a repulsion but at the same time when what comes when plus and minus that means when negative and positive charges will come so, so what will happen they will be attracted so here I should write attraction is not it. So, what I am talking about, I am talking about now the force which results due to repulsion. Okay, that means the force which is uh, coming into existence due to repulsion of the same charges. Okay, what is the meaning of charges, children? What is the meaning of charges and how does it develop? Where does it develop and why does it develop? Okay. So, we will be talking about that first of all we will talk about the definition again the force which results due to repulsion of the same charges and attraction of the opposite charges. So, this force is known as what it is known as electrostatic force ok. Now, this is the weakest uh, force you know like it is there till the time when the substance is there when the substance is removed means see it is not a contact sort of force, but still it would not be there for a longer time it do not uh, can't survive for a longer time ok. As I have said ki you rub the scale on your head and then you keep it on the bits of paper. So, what will happen the bits of paper will get attracted ok, but if you keep on doing the same thing means if you do not rub the scale on your head and you keep on now, bringing the scale closer to the beads again one time second time it would not get attracted ok because this force is a short time force that means it is a very weak force ok it come into existence and then again after some time it get disappeared is not it. So, this and why does it happen because the uh, what because the attraction of the opposite charges and the what because of the repulsion of the same charges and attraction of the opposite charges ok. Now, uh, before explaining you charges ok how the charge is developed again we will do one I will show you I will just I can show you on the blackboard itself I would not be doing the experiment just this is a wooden plank ok what is this this is a wooden plank here if you take if you put one uh, nail or anything hook or something where you can adjust the straw ok here you have to adjust the straw. Uh, straw I think you all are aware the straw which is used to drink juices, pepsis and colas and ok this ordinary straw 
Now what you have to do? You have to take one wooden plank. Okay, you have one wooden plank and you cut the straw into two pieces. Okay, cut the straw into two pieces. Now one piece you will uh, attach over here. Okay, one piece will be attached over here, and the second piece, you know, second piece is here. Actually, in my hand. Suppose this is the second piece. Okay, now. One very important thing when you do this experiment, when you attach this uh, straw, half piece of the straw to the wooden plank, you should move it, okay. It should be freely moving in this way. Are you getting me clear? You will take a straw, you will divide it into two parts. One straw I have kept it separately, okay, after dividing and one part you will attach it in such a way, see take a wooden plank. Take a straw and put a all pin over here. Okay, in that case also it will be attached, and it should be attached in this way that this free end should be able to move. You know, it should not be the case that this uh, free end also gets stuck and doesn't moves. Okay, so I have taken a wooden plank, I have taken one straw which is divided into two parts. One part I kept here, and the one part I have fixed over here. And very important again, I'm telling you that this straw, which is here attached here, should be able to move, should be able to rotate. Hana? Now, what will you do? You will take the other piece. Okay, you will take this other piece, and then you will rub it on the piece of a paper. Please pay attention. Where you will rub? You will rub which part? You will rub this part. Where you will rub? You will rub on the piece of the paper. So, what will happen? You know. If you rub this part on the piece of a paper and then you bring it close to this, okay, you will find this part of straw will follow the other one. That means it will be moving ahead and this one will be following this yellow straw. And if I keep on moving like this, even this will be moving. Again, I am saying, see, take a wooden plank, take a straw, okay, divide the straw into two. Okay, one straw I kept it separately and one straw here I have pinned it with the pin. Okay, I have pinned this straw with the pin. In which way? In the easier way that it can rotate. Okay, it is very essential for this pin to rotate. Now, if you rotate this, okay, with your finger it is rotating, it is moving. Now, the other part of the straw, okay, the other part of the straw which you have, now you keep this straw and you keep, you rub this straw nicely on the paper okay and then what will you do you will bring this rubbed part on near the uh, the straw and you will move it so what you will find you will find that this straw is also moving this is condition number 1 okay this is condition number 1 what you have to do you have to rub half of the straw where on the paper ok this is the first scenario first case now what will you do in the second thing you will you have rubbed this one you have rubbed but again you will rub this part also ok bring the paper close rub it nicely and then you bring this closer you will find that now they are repelling each other ok they are repelling each other they are not moving now towards that this one is not following the another one why does this happen children because the same charges are developed on the straw ok when we rub the straw on the paper charges are being developed ok charges are being developed and so when you rub one straw Okay, or one piece of the straw on the paper, so only on that straw the charge is developed. Okay, now when you have rubbed this yellow straw on the paper, so only on the yellow straw the charge got developed. Okay, so what here the different charge was there, here different charge was there, or this one can be neutral also. Okay, so when you rotate, it rotates, isn't it? It follows. Why? Because here this one is not rubbed by the paper, this one is rubbed by the paper, so some charges are produced. Okay. Now, in the second experiment, what we have done? In the second experiment, we have rubbed both the pieces, okay, both the pieces with the 
what paper so whatever is happening whatever charge is coming into this first uh, straw will be developed on the second straw also isn't it now how they will attract now how they will attract just now in the magnet also we have studied the same poles okay they what they repel same uh, and the opposite poles they attract similarly in the electrostatic force also children the same charges they what they repel each other and the opposite charges they attract each other so when we have rubbed this only this straw with the help of what on the uh, paper so what will happen only that straw has developed charge okay but when we have rubbed both the straws on the uh, oh not on the on the okay so rubbed on the paper so same kind of charge will be developed on both the straws and so it will what it will repel each other you can do this experiment in another way also okay you know take one table and from here from here hang one thread okay and like this attach two straw this is one and this is second straw okay what we have done here we have taken a table and to the table we have hanged what the straw again what kind of straw again the half we have done the half of the straw and we have attached both the straws okay with the thread to the table now again what will i do i will bring i will here the straw is there isn't it two straws are there two part of one straw so i will rub one part okay let's name one okay i will rub the straw number one on the paper and then if i bring near the two you will find that these both are get like attract each other okay and when i rubbed both the straws you will find you will see this both the straws are moving apart to each other okay so what i have taken i have taken one table and here i have attached one what thread to the thread i have attached uh, two pieces of one straw okay two pieces of one straw now here two ones this one if i only rub only rub one straw with the paper then what will happen this two will show attraction okay but if i rub both the straws with the paper again what will happen same charge will be developed and they will start repelling each other now okay they will start repelling each other that is the reason what that how and why what we can say that what same charges repel each other and the uh, what opposite charges attract each other isn't it okay now we'll talk about some more examples before discussing about the examples i just want to talk about how these charges are formed okay now children so this is atom okay what is this this is atom okay now in the atom what is there always a nucleus is there this is what nucleus okay what i'm talking about i'm talking about the charges okay how the charges are developed okay how the charges are you know how the charges are formed and how the attraction and the repulsion take place so first of all what we have seen we have seen one like what we have taken we have taken the example of one atom okay this whole is one atom now in the center what is there in the center nucleus is there okay and in the nucleus what is there here proton is there and neutrons are there okay if you remember i am talking about in structure of the atom okay so in the structure of the atom what is there in the structure of the atom in the center nucleus is there in the center what is there nucleus is there okay in the nucleus what is there protons and neutrons are there what is there protons and neutrons are there now in the outermost part electrons are continuously rotating okay electrons are continuously rotating okay 
now all this depends upon atomic number and all these things so, I will just give you a superficial you know uh, sort of thing you what are charges and how it is developed. Now this is an atom in the center nucleus is there inside the nucleus what is there proton is there and the neutron is also there. Now children please pay attention proton is positively charged particle ok, proton is positively charged particle ok, neutron is neutral ok, neutron is neutral and this is the first one, this is the second one and the third particle electron ok this electron has negative charge on it, this electron has got negative charge on it. Now when I say this is the structure of the atom ok, so you know what happens in if the other atom is also there ok, if other atom is also there. So what these atom do, uh, do it is not do it is do ok, such no blunders it is happening like slip of tongue it is not do it is do ok. So um, ok, so this is the structure of the atom in the center what is there nucleus is there in the nucleus what will be there in the nucleus protons and neutrons will be there here what is there here electrons are there which is rotating continuously in the orbits ok. Now so this electrons are rotating continuously in the orbits now what will happen children now when in the other atom ok when in the other atom this electrons are given ok electrons are given. So see I told you electrons are negatively charged and protons and neutrons, proton is what positively charged and neutron is what neutral. So when negative charge goes there ok, so what happens the place the uh, atom where it is going that atom ok, that atom will develop negative charge ok, why children because number of electrons have decreased negative uh, particle ok, negative particle is decreased and negative particle has gone to the other one, so it the where it has gone the negative has gone ok, there they need there, there what will happen the negative charge will come and from here the electron has come ok, so what, what will happen the electrons will become less, so what is more, what is more positive is more, so what charge will come over here positive charge will come over here ok, I will explain this with the numbers also ok, so it will become easier for you ok. Again a structure of atom I am showing about in the center nucleus is there, in the nucleus protons and neutrons are there, protons are positively charged and what uh, this one neutrons are negatively charged and around this electrons are moving ok, electrons are moving. Now these electrons has to do binding and they you know uh, you will read, read this thing in detail uh, in higher classes, so I cannot say all these things over here, but what happened you know these one ok what happens uh, when the compounds are formed, so what will happen either the sharing of electrons these are electrons, so even they share sometimes, sometimes they donate ok, so uh, you know different different conditions are there, so when electrons are given see when electrons are given that means negative charge is given, so this will become what negative and here protons will increase ok, the number of protons will increase, so it will be what positively charged, so here positive charge is developed. Now I will take one example, now say suppose we have got 11 proton ok, neutron also 11 and neut uh, electrons these are also 11 ok, please assume one uh, structure is there in the center what is there 11 proton is there and 11 neutron is there ok and here electrons are also 11 
they are rotating on ok. Now, when how this uh, nucleus will be charged, how it can be charged, it will be always positively charged, it will be always positively charged. Why it will be positively charged children? Because proton ok, because proton has with charge, proton has got positively charged ok. So, here proton is having positively charged, so here with charge will be there on the nucleus there will be positive charge ok. And see neutrons it does not has any charge, it does not has any charge, so it would not affect the charge of the neutron, it would not affect the charge of the neutron. Now electrons they are revolving around and they are having with charge they have negative charge ok. Now 11, 11, 11 all is, all is there, now when I am saying one electron is given ok, one electron is given, so how many electrons will be left here? Earlier there were 11 electrons, so now how many electrons will be left over here? One is given, so it will be what 10 ok, 10 electrons are left that means 10 negative charge ok and protons there is no disturbance, proton is as it is only, so protons are what 11. So, from the atom where the electrons are given and from the atom where the electrons are given, so what will happen? The negative charge will be reduced ok, the negative charge will be reduced, what will happen? From 11 it has become 10, but proton is what? 11 only, so 11 positive charge and 10 negative charge. So, obviously which, char which charge has to be uh, here, so it will develop positive charge is not it. So, the from where the electron moves ok is given out, they develop positive recharge and where the electrons reaches ok, there what will develop? Ha, that also I need to tell you. Now, the other case where this electron has come ok, so now what will happen? The negative charge will get increased is not it? the negative charge will get increased because only electron has come from here to there ok, only electron has moved from this part to that part, no proton is there ok, proton is as it is whatever they have. So, again what, what has happened there? Negative charge has increased. So, what will happen now here? Are you getting it clear? So, when the electrons moves ok, when electrons are given over here. So, now what, what will happen here? The negative charge will be there because electrons have increased in number. If electrons are increased in number that means it has got negative charge ok. Once again I will just out this thing children. See we are talking about non contact forces ok. What we are talking about? We are talking about non contact forces. In non contact forces we are talking about what? We are talking about electrostatic force. So, what is electrostatic force children? When the similar charges ok, the similar charges they what? Repel and the opposite charges what they do? They come close ok. So, when negative negative will be coming together it will be repelling, when positive positive will come it will repel, but again when positive and negative will come they are going to what? They, they will be showing attraction is not it? Now, ok. I am I have taken here the exam I have taken a structure of atom over here. If I am talking about an atom that means in the center what has to be there? In the center nucleus has to be there ok. Nucleus has with charge, nucleus has positive charge. Why nucleus has positive charge children? Because protons are there and neutrons are there in the where in the nucleus, but positive charge is where on the proton that means protons are positively charged and neutrons they do not have any charge. So, what things are kept together positively charged and the ch neutral where there is no charge. So, obviously nucleus will have which kind of charge children? Nucleus will have positive charge is not it ok. Now, electrons are rotating, electrons are rotating and so which uh, electrons are what? They are negatively charged particle is not it. Now, whenever transfer of uh, elect, uh, this thing the particles take place, so only and only electrons will move from one atom to another atom 
okay but never you will find that the protons and neutrons are moving they will be there itself where they are and the electrons will move so what happen you know when the electrons move these are negatively charged particle when electrons move from here to somewhere else that means what is going negative charge please try to understand negative charge has moved so from here where the negative charge has moved so negativity negative negative charge is gone there so which charge will become more here proton will become more here and so it will develop positively charged it will become positively charged particle but the uh, this transfer has taken place okay there what has happened only electrons has come okay so when electrons are coming protons are same in number whatever is there and electrons are coming so what will happen they will develop negative charge and here as electrons are given they will develop what positively charged so this was about electrostatic force now we'll discuss about few more examples